Hey kids, welcome to unit four, lesson eight, casting and rounding, exercise number one. These next couple of exercises all deal with this investigating casting worksheet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the worksheet and see what we have to do today. Part one, casting. Consider the following code. Int number A equals three, system print, Double number A. What do we think is going to be printed out when we run the program? The focus of this lesson is really two part. One is about casting, and that's to assign a value of one type to another. And that's what we're doing here. We're taking a integer three, and I think we're going to make it into a double 3.0. Another term we're going to learn is widening. And that's automatically casting from a smaller type to a larger type. So that's when we go from an int to a double. With that little information, I'm pretty confident that when we take this over to our app lab and paste this in, we're going to get 3.0 in our console. Let's write down our prediction. I think it will print out 3.0. Let's copy the code and see if we're right. We're going to paste our code in. And when we hit run, we should get 3.0 down here. Well, let's see if we're right. And we do. So it looks like when we put this double before a number or a variable, we're going to change its type. Let's head back to our worksheet. What was printed? 3.0. Consider the following code. Double number B, 1.5. System print out, int number B. I think this is gonna be the reverse. I think this is gonna take 1.5 and turn it into one. So this casting is going to go from larger to smaller. I think it will print out 1.0. Let's copy the code and see if we're right. Let's delete our old code, paste our new one in. When I hit run, I should get 1.0 down here. Well, let's see if we're right. And we are. So it looks like if we put our desired data type inside some parentheses in front of a variable, it'll change it into that data type. Let's head back to our worksheet. What was printed out? One. These are examples of casting. What is our best guess at defining casting? I think casting is when you assign a value of one primitive data type to another. Casting seems to change the data type and it'll convert it between two different ones. So casting is when you assign a value of one primitive data type to another type. Consider the following incomplete code, double price 3.5, System.out.println blank. The owner wants to print out the price rounded down. This is called truncation or narrowing, removing everything to the right of the decimal point. Given what you learned about casting, fill in the complete code. You must use the variable price. Well, I know I need our data type that we want in parentheses, so I'm going to make some parentheses. It's a double up there. We want to truncate. So that means we want an int and we have to use the variable name price. We're going to copy and paste the above code and see if it works. Let's go ahead and copy it. Let's paste our code in. When I hit run, I should get three down here. Well, let's see if we're right. We do. So it looks like we wrote our casting correctly. Let's head back to our worksheet. And it looks like we reached the end of exercise one.
key takeaway for this lesson is understanding casting. There is two different types of it. First is widening, that's converting a smaller type to a larger type, and then narrowing, which is converting a larger type to a smaller type. How do we do that? We put the data type we want in front of the variable inside parentheses. Hopefully this video helped you understand casting a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.